Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. And today we got kind of a neat little thing for you. It is a hidden sleep setting that essentially prevents a network computer from automatically going into sleep mode when network files are open. Let's take a quick look here so that you know you want to get to your power settings. So use your search, Windows key plus S, um, edit power plan maybe. There you go. And click on Edit Power Plan and then go to Change Advanced Power Settings. When we get this working, you will find it here under Sleep. As you can see, we have two options now. So I'm going to minimize this and see if I can just click on that later. There's a couple ways to do it. Registry, Command Prompt. Command Prompt super simple. If you're a networking geek, Command Prompt is nothing new to you. Um, but still, as we move forward, we're going to give you the options to edit the registry yourself and download the registry files. But let's do what I think is the easiest one right now. Let's start up PowerShell by the Windows key plus X and do admin, I always do. There you go. Move this down so you can see. There's no fanfare, there's nothing to see. Quite simply, here is how to enable it and here is how to disable it. Highlight this line, right click, copy, come back to PowerShell, control V, and as you can see, when I press enter, didn't confirm, no fanfare. Let's take a look. I may have to reopen it completely, but there it is. Allow sleep with remote options. It's off by default. Click here, and you can turn it on. That's it. So now that, editing, that setting is also in the registry. So let's disable it so we can play around a little bit more. And once again... And we can copy and paste the disable. I should have left that open, but I didn't. Edit power plan. And it's gone. So there you go. So again, at the very top, you will find a link right here to allow sleep with remote opens registry files. That will open a window where you can just click the big old download now button or one of these. There you go. So let's do the registry real quick because it's pretty much all you need to know. Once again, it's linked to here if you change your mind to download the registry files. And again, they're simply enable, disable. Double click each one to enable or disable. Let's get the registry editor open. Highlight these lines right here. Right click, copy. Win R regedit. R E G E D I T. Enter. Come up to the top, clear this out. Control V. Enter. Now you're at this key right here. Look over here for attributes. This is where it's hidden away right here. You'll notice that the value data is one. Change it to zero. And that will enable that hidden option now. I don't think, I'm almost positive I'd have to reboot or log out for that to show up. And I don't know why I keep closing. I guess I'm trying to make my life difficult today. Let's see if it showed up or not. Yeah, there it is. Simple as that. And once again, the nice thing about that is once again, just open your registry editor, go right back to where you were, and all you have to do is change the attributes back to one, and it's hidden again. There you go. Simple enough to do. Neat little hidden option. I thought some of you IT network geek guys who probably already know what it is would think was cool. Yeah. As always, click the subscribe down here. We love that. Love it, love it, love it. We appreciate all the likes and comments. I do respond as, to as many of them as I can, and we thank you, as always, for watching. Hopefully, we'll see you again next time. See ya.